So, before diving into NFTs, let's understand what are NFTs. NFTs stand for Non Fungible Token. This video is brought to you by EpiPies Academy. So, what is this Non Fungible Tokens? Basically, non fungible tokens are digital assets that are provably unique, creating digital scarcity. They can't be duplicated or divided. They have many use cases, including for digital collectibles, music, artworks, and in game tokens. Throughout this lecture, we'll get to know them in a right manner. So, you can see in this image as the fungible. Uh, for the fungible item, there is something like wood and coupon and some currency dollar. For the semi-fungible, there are your clothes and cinema tickets. And on the non-fungible aspect, you can see there is an artwork of Mona Lisa, some game icons, stickers, or things like that, and the non-fungible token. So, what are these fungibility? Fungible basically means changeable and fungible tokens are tokens that are tradable for each other and their value would overall remain constant. So let me give you an example. A currency is a classic example of a fungible asset. $5 is always $5 no matter the serial number on the specific $5 bill or whether it's $5 sitting in your bank account. The ability to replace a $5 bill with another $5 bill or say a 5 ones or 5 $1 bill for that matter. So this is what makes the currency fungible. So now you can understand that fungibility refers to an asset's ability to be exchanged with a similar asset without sacrificing its value. Fungibility defines an asset's characteristics such as divisibility and the value. Let's see one more example. Suppose you lend your friend a $100 note and the borrower or your friend keeps that $100 note in his wallet where there are other different uh, notes of that $100. Now, it doesn't matter what your friend does. Maybe he went to shopping, he, did his, uh, he already spent your money or maybe he had not. But at the end of the day, the, your friend has to return you back the hundred dollars so what he returns is not important on the exact note that he has given you but what note he gives you so basically the hundred dollar has the value here not the exact hundred dollar note so this is the fungible aspect of the currency a hundred dollar is important on its value not on its unique further we can realize this fungibility to be something as relative or also subjective. Let's take an example. Uh, when we compare fungibility uh, in terms of multiple things, then we can find fungibility to be relative. So let's see our uh, economic class of a business class and a first class flight ticket. So each of these tickets is roughly fungible within each class. But you can't fairly swap a first class ticket for a business class ticket, or can you? Interestingly, we can also find fungibility to be subjective. Let's see an example. Suppose you have a rare penny that might be worth a single cent to you. But this thing can be worth much more to a coin collector or some antique piece collector. Thus, interestingly, fungibility can also be subjective. Now, we can start our understanding more about these non-fungible tokens. So in this modern world where cryptocurrency, utility token, security token, privacy token, and digital assets are growing, we have non-fungible tokens also. So non-fungible tokens are another example of this fast-paced change in the industry. Basically, these non-fungible tokens are unique digital items with blockchain-managed ownership. Some of the examples for these non-fungible tokens might include things like collectibles, game items, digital arts, event tickets, domain names, and even ownership records for physical assets. If you have been living in the crypto world for a while, you have most likely heard of the term non-fungible token or NFTs. 
So a non-fungible token is a cryptocurrency token that is indivisible and unique. One NFT cannot be interchanged with another NFT and the whole cannot be broken down into smaller parts and used. NFTs offer myriad options for creating and trading digital assets, such as original artwork and blockchain integrated collectibles, games like CryptoKitties, etc. Non-fungible tokens are useful for providing the scarcity and provenance of rare assets, both digital and for the real world. So, in simply, if we have to separate between the fungible tokens and the non-fungible, we can simply say as fungible tokens are tokens that are tradable for each other and their value remains constant. And for the non-fungible token, they are the digital assets that are available. So even the ownership of some physical asset in the digital form is like an ownership record, which is a non-fungible token. Even your Bitcoin is traded so that is not a non-fungible token while nft is a non-fungible token because it is completely unique to its own and it has got all the unique characteristics to itself so unlike regular cryptocurrencies non-fungible tokens cannot be directly exchanged with one another this is because two non-fungible tokens are identical even those that exist on the same platform game or in the same collection think of them as like a festival tickets each ticket contains uh, specific information including the purchaser's name, the date of the event, and the venue. So this data makes it Im nearly impossible for the festival ticket to be traded with one another. So now let's see what we learned about these non-fungible tokens and let's summarize its characteristics. So basically non-fungible tokens are rare. So they are rare and the value of non-fungible tokens comes from their main scarcity. So, although, they, although the non-fungible token developers can create any amount of non-fungible tokens, but since they are unique to their own, so thus they are rare. And they are indivisible. Non-fungible token cannot be divided into smaller denominations like bitcoins or uh, satoshis. They exist exclusively as a whole item. These no NFTs are indestructible. Because all NFT data are stored in the blockchain via smart contracts, each token cannot be destroyed, removed, or replicated. Ownership of this token is also immutable, which means gamers and collectors actually possess their NFTs, not the companies that create them. This contrast, this contrast with buying things like music from the iTunes store, where users don't actually own what they are buying, this purchases the license to listen to the music. And finally, this is unique. So this is perhaps the most significant characteristics of them all. All NFTs have a permanent information tab that records their uniqueness. So you can think as NFTs to be something like information as a certificate of authenticity. Thus, one of the main benefits of owning a digital collectible versus a physical collectible, for example, a Pokemon card or a rare minted coin is that is NFTs contain distinguishing information that make it both distinct from any other NFTs and easily verifiable. This makes the creation and circulation of fake collectibles pointless because each item can be traced, traced back to the original issuer. Thus, I hope you have understood about NFTs and what non-fungible tokens are. So that's all for this lecture. Now I'll see you on the next one.